Hi, I want to show you an interesting way how you can print stained glass in multiple colors even when you have just a basic printer that normally prints with just one filament. First you want to go to your printer settings in Prusa Slicer. If you don't have Prusa Slicer you can download it from their website. Choose the printer you want to be using then under general you have capabilities and you can select how many colors you want to print basically so we're going to be making a stained glass with four colors or black outline and then three other colors um, and select sin single extruder multi-material now we can set a color for each of these so the first one is going to be black then we have sort of like a a magenta color, I don't know, something like this, and purple and blue. Blue. Okay, next, under uh, custom G code, you want to go down to this section and paste this text. That should be on the page where you got the files to print. Next we want to go to the print settings. Choose 0.2 millimeter layer height and then under advanced go down to elephant foot compensation and it's important to set zero under here because if you don't then this might happen which you definitely don't want to leave some of the glass pieces on the build plate when you take it off. Next you also want to cancel the wipe tower as we're going to be changing the colors of the filaments ourselves. That is under multiple extruders. Disable wipe tower. Now everything is ready and now that we have this we can just drag and drop the 3MF file and import 3D models only otherwise it will change the printer type to uh, a Prusa MK3 and I don't think you want that unless you have a Prusa MK3 in which case you can skip all of the first steps and for this pop-up we want to say no now we have all of the the edges and the different colors of the glass imported and now you're just ready to slice and export the g-code now what the printer will do is after each of the colors is finished it's going to start beeping and ask you to change the filament at this point when it wants to start the red it's going to pause move to the side you pull the filament out put the new one in, let it run till the color is clean and then press OK and it's going to continue with the color then it's going to ask for another change before the purple etc. Then it's going to do the blue. We've designed some of the files that it continues on some of the parts in the second layer so on these parts it's going to be a darker blue color because you have two blue layers on top of each other which makes them less translucent and on this part it's actually going to be purple and then blue on top which is going to make again a different color shade with the same amount of filaments and if you want to check in which order it's going to be making the colors it's the same order that we have set up here and it will continue to do the last color from the first layer so that would be blue in this case it's going to continue in the second layer and then it's going to change back to black so it's going to be black pink, purple, blue, 
continuing blue and then black again in the second layer. This warning is here just because there's a floating blue part. This is just in the second layer and not in the first one so that's why it's giving you this warning. Now we can print. Now if you have an AMS printer the you're going to have a much easier time. Um, you just have to open the slicer that you're using. If you're in Prusa Slicer, it's what I already showed you, but if you're using Bamboo Studio, you just open the project that you have downloaded. It's going to just import the geometry data. It gives it some colors by itself. You can obviously change that to the ones that you have in your printer and um, the only thing you have to set here is go to advanced settings because we need to change the elephant foot if we didn't change the elephant foot then there would be gaps around the pieces of glass which are very small but when you print it that's it that is what would cause you know what so, under quality, there is elephant foot and just set that to zero. And now it, it's ready. You can also paint the individual pieces different colors if you want. You could do like one purple, one pink, one purple, one pink. Um, you can also do that in Prusa Slicer. Click on the model then choose the color you want to be painting with bucket fill and click on all the pieces of glass that you want to print in the different color and then when you slice they're going to be different we've also experimented with trying to print in transparent filaments and filaments that have uh, shiny bits and as you can see the transparent looks very nice it's a lot le lot more translucent than the normal filaments even though you can use any kind of filament and it will be translucent when it's printed at this very thin layer if you use the ones with sparkles the sparkles themselves sometimes aren't actually translucent so they will show up as being gray which is not the best look so maybe experiment with which filaments you have and that's pretty much it. Um, we've done also different kinds of stained glass so you can check out our other designs on our websites and that's it for now. Happy printing! Bye!